because I'm not operating the vehicle, I'm not driving the vehicle, and we're all good. No, you are operating the vehicle, man. No, I'm not. You drove into a house. No, I didn't. I think that um, that popped off right about there. You see the skid marks? Yeah, right there. And so when that popped off, she wasn't able to go any further. Yeah. There is a house that got hit by something heavy, a white car. A white well, I was SUV. not in a white car that hit You're not in a white SUV? I wasn't. I okay, out come, on out. Yeah. come on out. Come on out. No, no. Ma'am, come out of the... I said step sure out. Is. I said step out. On April 6, 2023, deputies responded to a report of an impaired driver in a white SUV driving with heavy damage. Upon arrival, deputies noticed a large piece of wood in the grill of the white SUV. The piece of wood was from a hidden run involving a house and the SUV prior to deputies arriving. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Doing all right. Looks Hi. like you're having a little car trouble. I am. So what happened? I don't know. You don't know what happened? No, yeah, well, I had a little accident, but we're figuring it out. We're going to... Who are you talking to? AAA. I live in the neighborhood. I'm good. We're all good here. No, it's not good. No, it's good because I'm not operating the vehicle, I'm not driving the vehicle, and we're all good. No, you are operating the vehicle, ma'am. No, I'm not. You drove into a house. No, I didn't. You did, actually. You did. Um, so... Excuse me, I'll call you back. It, well, you're on Google, so it's... Um, so... You were in possession of the vehicle. You were driving the vehicle. You drove into somebody's house. Which house? One down here on uh, Newtown Road. So how much have you had to drink tonight? On Newtown Road? Which right. house on Newtown Road? Are you, was there another one you hit? No, there was no house I hit on Newtown Road. I'm confused. So, yeah, you seem a little confused. So, yeah, you've suffered a whole you. bunch of damage. Um, so... Let's talk about the house on Newtown, right? Right. So, you... Yeah. That's what I said. You know what I think? I think that um, that popped off right about there. You see the skid marks? Yeah, right there. And so when that popped off, she wasn't able to go any further. She's like, well, it's kind of muddy. We'll block her and pull her <laughs> She was on the phone with AAA, and she's like, I'll call you back, I guess. We'll be there about 8 a.m. to get you. <laughs> right. That's, I love it when they say, uh... Don't, it. don't touch I'll, any I'll... of that. Yeah, she's got a number on it. There's more parts in the trunk. That's parts of the front step. Mm. I can't believe she made it this far. I can't believe she made it didn't go straight through the freaking house. That's dude. it. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and have you Talk step out. Okay, I'm going to head. Go ahead and step out of the car. No, I'm not going to step out of the car. Ma'am, you need to step out of the vehicle. So okay. on Newtown Road. Regardless, let's get past that right now. You've hit a, a number of things. Okay, you went off the road. You hit a guardrail. You've got parts of the guardrail stuck in your grill. Okay. I want to talk about the house. All right, get out of the car. No, I'm not going to get out of the car. Ma'am, you need to step out of the car. Okay? No, I'm going to just talk Peeler. about... So, Miss Peeler, why don't you go ahead and get out of the vehicle, okay? I just want to talk about the house that you're talking about. Okay. So you're saying you did not hit that car house? I just want to talk about Just the guardrail. Okay, talk about it. Go ahead. No, I want to hear what you say about the house that I hit. There is a house that got hit by something heavy, a white car. A well, white I was SUV. not in a white car that hit You're a not in a white SUV? I wasn't near a house that hit a car. Okay, so yeah, the house didn't hit the car. A car hit the house. Um, so you did drive into a guardrail. Okay, you've got but the parts of the guardrail. We're guard talking rail. about a house. No, ma'am, listen That's to me. That's a whole different you know, we're thing. All right, forget about the house. Forget about the house. Okay. okay. Let's say you had nothing to do with the house. Okay, we're moving I'm on. I'm not gonna. But what I'm telling you is, you drove into a guardrail. Right? So I'm there's parts of the guardrail. You were talking about a house. That's a whole different No, I said we thing. were out here searching. Okay, that's why I said. We'll move on past that. Okay, cool. No, I don't want to call, talk about coal and talk about passing. I want to talk about you said that I right, hit a house. You need to get out. No. 
You need to I get out. No, no, I don't need to get out. You wrecked your car. You left the scene of an accident. No. You drove into a guardrail, right? I want yes, you, there's pieces of the guardrail. Okay. But I want you to talk about the house no. because. No, you want to talk about it now. No, I you want to stop to now. Okay. We are one step from me dragging you out of this car. Do you, you understand me? You do not need to get. No, you need to stop and listen. No, because you need to stop and no, listen. You need to stop and listen because I don't want I am, to be bullied. I'm and not trying I don't to bully you. you. I'm trying to talk to you. I know. And but you keep but backtracking. No. What I'm saying you is you you wrecked understand. your car. You left the scene of an accident. Okay. But I want. Okay. You wrecked I your car. I understand. Okay. Yes. So. But I want to understand what we're talking about leaving the scene of an accident. Right. I'm, now I'm talking about the guardrail. What? Okay. No, I'm you said talking you about the house. The I have house. A, yeah. Did the house have paint on it? I don't know. I didn't go down. I, I didn't go to that house. house. Do you want me to check? Yeah. Yeah. yeah check. Because so, I'm not going okay. to be bullied. I just. And, well, I, did you, listen, right, ma'am. I'm I'm Officer Warman. I know. And, and I, you, you and don't, I, I don't haven't introduced myself. I haven't introduced myself. I'm introducing myself. Right That's fine. That's fine. And I That's will great. Pull that on, like, and I don't please want to do. Please do. I've got mine on. He's got his on. I know. But and I want, you, I don't you are want, not listening. No. Okay. You are not listening because I want what to What I'm telling you is, I'm about to pull you out of your car if you do not step out of this car. No, I'm not doing anything wrong. You crashed your vehicle. You fled the scene of an accident. Okay. okay. But I no. want to understand okay. so what that means. Okay. So you crashed your vehicle. And you fled the scene of an accident. No, I didn't flee. If you leave the scene of an accident, then that is fleeing. That's why I'm, I'm explaining it to you. I want to understand what you think that I did with that. There's pieces of the guardrail in your okay, grill. But that doesn't matter. What it does, does that matter. mean when... That is, that is not your property, right? The guardrail is not your property. No. You crashed but your car into it. I want to understand it. what we're talking about. That's why I keep you telling you. When you say what I okay. did. Okay, ma'am, step out. Step out of the car. No, I'm not going to okay. step out come of the car. Okay, come on out. No, no. Ma'am, come out of the... I said step out. I said step out. Step out of the car. You are under arrest. No, I don't think we need to do this. I got it. I got it. Well, you I think wrong. I got it. I'm going to put on my shoes. It's okay. I asked you several times. Okay. You refuse okay. to comply. It's okay. Okay. No, it's okay. it didn't have to go no. that way, did it? It's a, Let's really, go. We go don't have we're to going back to. This. Come on. You are under arrest. Please, I don't need to be manhandled. Ma'am, I asked you about 15 times to step out of that car. I didn't. You were given a law. It doesn't matter. You were given a lawful order to step I out of the vehicle. You refused to do it. Good. Have a seat. You're driving while impaired is what you're doing. No, I but wasn't driving. Down. Sit down. Sit down. I wasn't driving when you... Sit down. Okay. Sit down. You're in control of the vehicle. Has to be right now. And my partner is being very, very nice. Back. I'm going to let them... Please. Ma'am. No. Come on. Right now you're detained. Okay. Can you please uncuff no, me? No, you this are going to remain cuffed. This is ridiculous. Why? Yeah, absolutely is ridiculous. I haven't done anything... Move your leg. Ma'am. Okay. Move your leg. Ma'am. Okay. You're being completely oh my god. No. Dude, if I didn't shut it so quick, she's gonna spring back out of there. <laughs> Ma'am, we're not gonna open the door because you've showed us that you can't just keep your legs in the car. No, it's okay. Not. I just don't want my arms. I'm not a menace. To society, honestly. Okay. Well, there's another officer on the way to talk to you, okay? Right now, right now, I, I'm arresting you for resisting. I'm not resisting. That was what that was. You refusing to get out of the car is resisting arrest. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what you're trying to do. Well, I was trying to explain it to you, but you refused to listen. So I'm not going to have listen. I'm not going to have any more conversation about it as of right now. So, okay, trying to be and doing it are two different things, but like I said, we're not going to have any more conversation right now. All right? Yeah. I just, I don't want you hurting your leg. You need to not be banging on the doors and stuff. Okay? Well, right now, right now you're under arrest, so you need to just hang out and wait. Can we just uncuff these pieces? No. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, I no, you, you're going to remain handcuffed. 
So where'd you come from prior to the county? I understand. I was at so I was in the left office. Okay. No. So my suggestion is sit there and zip it. Well, I'm telling you. Okay? Because it's going to get really out of hand, really quick, and you're going to wind up catching another charge with me. No. 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 Anytime anybody goes in the back of one of our cars, they get cuffed. That is our department policy. Okay? But I don't think that there was anything that you saw that I did illegally. There was nothing that you saw. No. Well, let's start off with physical control. Yeah. No. For, for, for starters. My car was stopped. You didn't uh, see me. On the roadway. Yeah. And you were behind yes, the wheel. No it's called physical stopped. control. Not yeah. Not behind the wheel. It was stopped. Oh, you, you, you weren't you. behind the wheel, so I you didn't try to grab the steering wheel, and we didn't have to drag you out, no, right? I wasn't okay, driving. will you stick to your story, I'll stick to mine, and we'll go from there. Okay? You'll have your day in court. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't try that out. Enough's enough. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, just imagine. Could you imagine if kids were outside? Dang, oh man. She hit that house. And she don't think she did anything wrong. She got part of the she house. She won't own it. Did she won't own the, it. Did you see part of the house on the grill? I didn't, I didn't get down there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. It's in the front of the car. Yeah. Deputies transferred the suspect to jail. Do, I just want to know why I'm here and I would like to use the restroom. Would you read her to her? Yes. Is that a yes or no? Yeah. Okay, take her, take her over there and have her sign it. Take her over there, have her sign it, put her name, sign it, put the time. I'm not going to sign anything. Okay. You don't want to sign? No. Okay, okay. that's fine. Put her shoes. Just put her shoes. Put her shoes. I'm going to use the restroom. Okay. Why are you here? Because you were on the rest for OBI. For what? OBI, operating a vehicle while under the intoxication. No, I was, you did not pull me over. I was no, not you crashed your vehicle. Okay. You crashed into a house. I was okay. I bring that vehicle when you pull me over. So that's you, not you crashed into a house and you left the scene. Okay. May I use the restroom, please? Not right this minute. You're gonna wait. Okay. Okay. So when in this whole situation were you convicting me of this? You yeah. never breathalyzed me. You never pulled me over. Sorry. I don't know why Let's you're. Okay. I don't understand that. There's no proof. So, sir, is another question? Yes, ma'am. Where's the car? I do not know right now. I, I believe it's last last time I heard it was still where where you left it. What you were having? But they are to... yes, and it's going to be towed. Okay. Do you but know our trip, I don't know where we're okay. right at this moment. We'll find out. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. We will get, we'll give you a slip on how to get that back. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it was being taken to headquarters. Because you crashed into a building, or if it's being taken to can a you, tow lot. Can you give me the address of the building that I supposedly crashed into? It will, be in, it will be in the report, and your attorney can get that for you. Thank you. When they say by forcing you more, like, did she bite you? Like, physically bite you? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? As far as what? What are we doing? When can I leave? I'm actually about to take you up to Anderson Mercy right now to be checked out. Checked out? What do you mean? Um, checked out by medical staff at Anderson Mercy. No, because we're I'm not. I refuse that. Okay, Why would I? Because you're, up, you're being arrested. You're being transported to the Justice Center. Under what? Ruling is that for the OVI for resisting arrest? I didn't resist you. I was just confused. I still don't understand that charge, honestly. That's why I've explained it to you. Like when I explained it to you before, you refused to get out of the vehicle after being told multiple times to do so. You were told you were under arrest. Still refused. Just because you say no, I don't want to be arrested, doesn't mean you're not being arrested. 
Well, it's confusing if you can understand that. So I can't. Understand. I absolutely okay. cannot understand that. I don't. You, you I, were told you're under arrest. You so still why do I need to go to Mercy Anderson? I don't understand that. Because you're involved in a car wreck. Our jail won't accept you. I was not involved. I was. A, it was not a car wreck with someone else. So. No, it was a wreck into a guardrail in a house. A guardrail, not with a person. So I don't no, it was a house. A house is a big structure to hit. So they have to check you at the hospital and clear you. Oh, I mean, no. And if you, yeah, when you tell them that, it's fine. Great, we'll be in and out. Um, so we're going to go that route. So what if I refuse to go to Mercy? Yes, I got the call. You can't refuse. You can't refuse. You're under arrest. You cannot refuse. I'm just asking. I'm not trying to be. And that does just give your answer. You cannot refuse. Okay. Yeah. Good. May I call my daughter or something? Yeah. Yes, I will. Nope. How old is your daughter? I'm not going to answer that. No, that's fine, but it's still our policy to handcuff someone that's under arrest. The suspect was charged with resisting arrest and obstructing official business. At this time, the suspect's court case is still ongoing.